In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create promotional posters in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works when I click. You can see here I have created this particular design where you can use for we are hiring and join our team and apply now. All those text uh, I have just put it here and I have given some basic animation effect to it. Uh, similarly, I have created one more poster where without any animation I have given like flash sale up to 80% off shop now. So uh, depending on your requirement, you can just uh, change the text. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code. You can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose this parallelogram, draw a parallelogram, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can just choose any color of your choice. I'm going to fill this with red color and then I'm going to add one more by pressing Ctrl D and this one I'm going to fill this with yellow color and then just send this to back. All right. And then I'm going to tilt it a little bit with the help of this arrow and I'm going to put it here like this. Now, if you want to edit this shape, you have got two different options. You can see here the small uh, orange circle. You can just drag this one inside or outside to change the shape or you can right mouse click, click on the edit points and then you can change the shape the way you want. You can see here and for this yellow also, I'm going to select and right mouse click edit point and I'm going to make it more upwards and this one I'm going to reduce a little bit so I end up getting a shape something like this maybe I'm going to make it somewhat down so once this is done I'm going to insert few more uh, parallelograms here I'm just going to draw again a parallelogram okay and then here for this particular uh, box first of all make it no outline shape fill I'm going to give this gold color and then again right mouse click edit point i can just change the shape the way i want you can see here i can make it more some design kind of design like this and once this is done i can duplicate this by pressing ctrl d then give the color black and then for this one i'm going to send this to back so it looks something like this all right so again depending on your requirement you can just change the way you want uh, the shape and then let me just insert one rectangle draw one rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black then right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give some transparent look for this one and i'm going to put it here like this all right just let me just reduce the size let me just it a little bit only all right you can see here I'm just going to give like this and then just send this to back all right so one more shape i have added here then go to insert shapes from the rectangles sorry from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this right triangle draw one right triangle like this all right shape outline again make it no outline shape fill you can give uh, some different color combination whichever combination you like maybe i'm going to give it more uh, darker red here rotate i can just rotate it flip vertical and i'm going to make it flip horizontal right so like this shape i got it and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then for this i'm going to give this gold color and now i would like to rotate it again you can see here i can just rotate the way i want you can just whichever direction you want you can just rotate it all right and then i'm just going to put it like this all right and this one i'm going to send this to back all right so you can see here i've got the shape again if you want you can add one more black also so let me just duplicate this one and fill this with black color reduce the size all right and then i'm just going to put it here and then send this to back all right so you can see here i've got this one shape like this and if you want you can just select this one press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the sizes and then you can just put it outside some random places okay 
you can give some different color for this all right and control d to duplicate i'm going to make it maybe a blue color and i'm going to put it like this and even you can reduce the size depending on your requirement so once this is done what i'm going to do next is i'm going to add the text we are hiring for this uh, go to insert text box and first of all i'm typing v r all right make it the font i will say a uh, futura all right center align make it bold increase the size we are hiring so here we are i've just type it all right and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to make this font as white and then i'm just going to keep it on top of the black so it looks like a shadow effect and press ctrl d and i'm going to type hiring or any other text of your choice you can choose and here i'm going to increase the size and i'm going to put it here all right press ctrl d and make this font as black and just send this to back and again align it properly so you can see here let me just put this one in the center we are hiring all right something like this and then you can add uh, some more text where i can say join our team so go to insert text box and i'm going to say join our team all right and again the same font which i'm going to use any font of your choice also you can go with that increase the size all right and i'm just going to sorry i'm going to keep this one here okay if you want a tilt a little bit something like this and again you can add few more shapes here i'm going to use some rounded rectangles shape outline no outline shape fill maybe you can give a red color reduce the size tilt a little bit and you can just add some random shapes like this all right so once this is done you can add few more shapes here go to insert again parallelogram i'm going to add one more here where i can just say apply now again this one i can give a color of black shape outline maybe no outline again if you want to give a different color also it's up to you so now let me just copy this text press ctrl d and i will reduce the font size and here i'll just say apply now okay all right again if you would like to add few more shapes or text here you can just simply add for example i can just select this one press ctrl d i can reduce the size and i'm going to keep it like this here all right and once this is done what you need to do is you have to go to insert shapes select one text box draw the text box covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline you have to go and select the picture or texture fill click on insert and i'm going to just click on the uh, these online pictures and here you can add any online pictures uh, from the internet or if you have from the local pc you can select from the local pc i can just say that uh, a blur background for example or i'm just giving some uh, so you can see here i've just got different shapes here or oh, sorry designs here maybe i'm going to choose this one click insert and i'm going to send this to back so you can see here i have made this particular uh, background and if you want to give a few more uh, uh, shadow effect or some brightness i'm going to select create one oval shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill fill this with white and then go to the effects and go to the soft edges increase the size you can see here all right and then i'm just going to put it one here press ctrl d i'm going to put one more here press ctrl d i'm going to put one more here 
all these three i'm going to select and then i'm going to send these two back all right so you can see here i have created some uh, kind of a uh, glow effect here all right so it looks something like this and depending on your requirement if you would like to do some basic animation to this you can do it